Hi, my name is Jose Soto. You may recognize me as Jose Can Help on Twitter. I've written a few posts on Titan's blog about setting up VS Code for PHP step debugging. So people usually hit me up on Twitter asking for some assistance here and there on their local setups and how they can get it working. Recently I had someone ask me why their debugger wasn't stopping at breakpoints. So I had them sent over their php.ini config and I did some debugging on my own. And I want to show you how easy it is and the steps I took so that you can do it on your own. So here we go. So first, if I run the debugger, we'll first create a launch.json file with the PHP configs. There is a launch currently open script option in the launch.json config. So we're going to go ahead and use that, not make any changes to it, and try to run this one script here. Let's, uh, let's create a breakpoint here. As you can see, the breakpoint wasn't hit. Uh, there's something wrong here. It's saying undefined index request URI. Um, that's because we're not hitting this script the way it's supposed to be hit, which is through a web server. Um, so why isn't this breakpoint being hit? So my first inkling is that xdebug isn't set up properly. So let me see what my xdebug setup is. So I know this is my loaded configuration file here. And in fact, this is the exact config that this person sent over. It would seem that everything here is correct. So what is going on? Um, maybe it's a different version of PHP being run in the in VS Code. Well, let's check that out. So PHP has this built-in exec command that will run a bash script, something in the shell, and then return it to a variable of our choosing. So this bash script is just going to be which PHP I want to see which version of which uh, I want to see which executable we're running. User local bin PHP. That's the same PHP that I'm running here. So I know that the config file that I set up is the correct config file that is being used here when I'm running this script. So we've got that out of the way. So let's try to see now what we can change in that file to make it so that it works here. So we want remote enable and auto start. Um, however, remote host 10.0.2.2, this looks like a config that uh, we would have set up using Homestead, since Homestead technically runs a different version of PHP from our local. We need to actually bring it back to the remote host, um, which is exactly what I talk about in my blog post, configuring VS Code for debugger for PHP debugging using Homestead. But that doesn't apply here because we're just trying to run this PHP script. So let's go ahead and remove this and see what happens when we run this. And there we go. So there are just a few steps that we took to debug this. Uh, the reason that the debugger wasn't working, we technically debugged the debugger. Um, but these are little common steps that I like to share with others to show them my thought process on how I figured this out. Uh, of course, the solution here was a little bit nuanced. It's very specific because I, I wrote the blog post and I understand uh, the, the IP addresses that uh, pertain to Homestead. But uh, using that exec command was a way for me to figure out exactly which, exactly which uh, PHP script we were using to run. And that gave me the confidence to know that that php.ini was the right file to edit. Uh, so that we can get the configuration set up properly for VS Code. I hope that helps, and if you need any more help, please hit me up on Twitter at Jose Can Help. I'll see you there.